In the book Philadelphia Fire by John Edgar Wideman, the use of alternating narratives provides the reader with multiple points of view on one tragic event. By switching from a fictional character to a real person, in this case the author himself, the reader is able to understand the subject through both a literary and journalistic lens. This also plays with our ideas of literary genre. Is Philadelphia Fire fiction, literary nonfiction, metafiction, or some combination of the three? In one case, the narrator of the book is Cujo, a fictional character who is trying to investigate and eventually report on the Philadelphia Row House Fire of 1985. This fire occurred between the Philadelphia authorities and an Afrocentric naturalist group known as MOVE, culminating in the deaths of 11 people, including five children. In the story, Cujo is attempting to find the former MOVE member Simba, a little boy who survived the fire. As he moves closer to his goal, we learn about topics like Cujo's history as a black writer from an urban area, the racism and poverty that is apparent in Philadelphia, and the way Cujo interacts with his family, especially his estranged wife and son. Cujo may mirror people from the actual event, but he is purely a fictional character. When the narrative switches from Cujo to John, the actual author of the book, we're put into a different angle of the conflict. This suddenly moves from the realm of fiction to nonfiction, pulling the reader intimately close to the tragedy. Cujo and John also mirror one another in that they are writers, and they both have sons who have been imprisoned, providing another parallel between Weidman's fiction story and the real account of the move fire. It is important to reflect on the distinction between fiction and nonfiction in literature. A blog post on the WordPress blog Lit Love suggests that once you add literary to the term nonfiction, you indicate that you are moving ever further away from the factual basis of the account, which may be true in Weidman's text. But he always pulls us back into real world issues of racism, crime, justice, and knowing one's history when he himself appears in the text. In closing, the text cannot be easily put into a certain literary genre, but like all good literature, it asks the reader to reflect on past events using both elements of fiction and real-world drama. And that is my short analysis on narrative and genre in Philadelphia Fire by John Edgar Wideman. Thank you for listening.